hi, I am Holly. My channel is Natural Mama. It's all about taking care of yourself, your family, the people you love, and the environment. Um, I'm also a columnist for the Green Parent magazine. Um, and very excitingly, um, I recently had a book out which is all about pregnancy and childbirth. Um, and if you are further along in your parenting journey than the pregnancy side, um, I have loads of free resources on my blog and on my YouTube channel. I'm also on social media, so you can catch me there. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that. Um, follow me, I'll follow you back. Um, what we're doing today, I'm making cupcakes. This is very exciting. Um, I'm going for a seaside theme, so you'll have to see how they turn out. Um, but the basic cupcakes are going to be lemon flavoured. So that's what I'm up to now. And there's gonna be a bit of white chocolate on the topping. So in the actual sponge mix, I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of lemon rind. And then I'm gonna make a little ocean. This is my plan anyway, my ocean out of white chocolate. And that's gonna be on one half of a little cupcake. And the other half, I'm going to have sand made out of shortbread, spiced shortbread, um, and, or crumbled up, and a little bit of ground almonds to make, my, to make my sand. So we shall see how that goes. And then I'm going to make some little sea creatures, like um, starfish. I'm going to put some little shells on as well. So I thought it would be quite fun for kids to do, kids of all ages, to get involved with um, making their own little sea creatures. So we'll see how that turns out later. But to start with, you're gonna make your little cupcakes. So this is what I'm up to. All right then. Get some lemon in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of lemon juice and a tablespoon of milk. I'm gonna put a bit of the rind in as well. I wanna get it a bit zesty. So. Um, I'll mix it up and then I'll get some, get some of the rind in. We can stick these in the oven, they only take about 10 minutes, don't they? So. And then, when they're nice and cool, we can get decorating. Let's see how this goes. So it smells nice and lemony, that's a good sign. Um, so we're gonna make little cupcakes, um, stick them in the oven for 10 minutes. Um, it's on gas mark four, 180 gas mark four. Um, there we go. The first cake I ever made for my daughter, my daughter's 14 now, so I've made, I've made more than 14 birthday cakes because often she has several, we have a family cake and we have one of her friends and things like this, but um, the first cake I ever made, um, when she was a year old, it was completely sugar free because I, her teeth were growing and I really didn't want to give her any sugar. Um, and to be fair, I probably could have loosened up a little and let her have a bit of sugar on her first birthday. And my friends still to this day think it's hilarious that my poor child wasn't allowed sugar on her first birthday. So, I'm just whacking this in because we're gonna put stuff on top. It doesn't need to be flawless, does it? So I think we just stick it in there and see how we go. Right, 10 minutes in the oven, have a cup of tea, put your feet up, like anyone does that these days. But um, yeah, let's put them in the oven and when they're cool, I'm going to decorate them. See you in a bit. Okay, so I am gonna make some butter icing and this, the plan of this is that the sand is gonna rest on top of it, it has something to stick to. So this is my plan. Um, I couldn't resist doing a beach theme. Love, love, love the beach. When my daughter was little, we had a lot of beach holidays. We'd just get, um, often with a lot of friends and stuff and we would just 
go to a campsite. Um, often we'd go to places like Bude. Um, yeah, Cornwall was a big favourite. And we would go and surf and bodyboard and hang out on the beach, which is always brilliant fun. So there we go. Yeah, so I thought summer, I think of beaches, even though I have been to the beach four times a year in April, freezing in Wales, but this is about the summery, lovely beach times that we have. I suppose it's a night with little kids, and if they haven't been to the beach yet and you want to talk about what's going on there, or if you've had a beach holiday and want to celebrate it, or you want to teach them about little beach creatures, it's a nice way getting them to... Um, you could even collect shells first and then make them, or it's just a nice little way to celebrate beach life. Because you can literally make whatever you want and put it on top. I think a nice little fat seagull would be good as well. I might put a seagull on one of mine. Now Holly's way of making sure that buttercream is right, I just taste it. I don't use, I just whack it in until it feels a good consistency. Tastes good. Let's get some colour in there. So... yellow. I don't want to go too yellow because sand obviously isn't brilliant yellow is it? It's kind of a little bit of a biscuity tone. I say that and it's gone neon yellow. Here we go. <laughs> okay. This is sort of... There you go. <laughs> it's fashionable colour of the summer. There you go. Trendy, trendy cakes. I'm just going to hide it under my lovely shortbread anyway, so it's going to be brilliant. Right then, got some yellow buttercream, lemon flavoured, and I'm going to put some biscuit on and make my little beach thing. So yeah, a shortbread, either make your own, crumble it down, or you could buy some and crumble it down. If you're making crumbs, you don't need to bake it, do you? But um, I've got ground almonds, and I'm going to put in a little bit of ginger just for a kick, but not too much. So, there we go. Hopefully this does look a little bit like sand. I think it, it does quite a bit actually look like sand. Does it taste? Hopefully it doesn't taste like sand, that would be horrible. Let's see. That's very nice. Put a bit more ginger in. I don't want to go too gingery because some kids aren't massive fans of spices, but a little bit, I think a touch is just to add a little bit of heat to it. There we go, a bowl of sand. Okay, so now we're gonna decorate them. This is the fun bit. Um, I'm gonna use some of my acid yellow icing <laughs> um, just for the sand to stick to. So I'm gonna whack this on. There's a bit of lemon juice in here as well. So there's a bit of lemony flavor coming through. Um, as well. I think it cuts through nicely against the sweetness of the sugar, so... The nice thing about doing beaches is it doesn't need to be too perfect because that's how beaches look. So I'm just going to put a rough half of this buttercream on and then put a little bit of my sand on. So... I like the way this is looking, this... Um, so it's ginger shortbread and ground almonds, so let's save that. Now we're getting on that sticking quite nicely. Put a little bit more on. So I might just pat it down to make sure we get enough of the sand through. Um, that looks nicely sandy, doesn't it? There we go. I think kids would quite like the idea of um, eating sand. As long as you teach them that when they get to the beach they don't eat that as well. They think the whole of the beach is made up of shortbread. But um, yeah, I think that's going to be quite a nice little... Yeah, there we go. So, I'm going to do all my beaches first, then melted white chocolate and put a bit of colour through, a bit of blue, a bit marbly to get the movement of the waves and fill it in my little gaps. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And I am going to get my melted chocolate and add a little ocean. So 
white, white chocolate I've got it for because I think lemon, ginger and white chocolate are a really, really good combination. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of blue and try and get a marble effect. So let's get... So we're going to get some ocean going on now. What I want to do is just use this white chocolate and just fill this area. Here we go. And here we go. And I'm going to marble it up a bit. Because it's liquid, it will just go in all the little cracks. And then we can add a little bit of marbly effect. There we go. That's pretty. Okay. Again, this is a fun job for the kids to do. Um, got some blue, some purple and green food dye out as well, but I don't know if I'm going to use them. I might stick with the blue. Okay, let's just... Oh, white chocolate is good. Right, next stage is to make our little sea creatures. So let your imaginations go wild, I reckon. Um, let's see what we come up with. So um, I got my boys on board to make some, to help me make some, I did do some of it, I promise. <laughs> um, to make some little seaside themed Paraphernalia, we've got a little Donald Trump over here sunbathing. He looks like he's been sun too long. And um, a shark fin and some clothing, sun hats, and lovely little crab. A few shells, and I like this guy, the seagull. So basically, yeah, go wild, go creative, make some stuff and throw it on the cupcakes. That's what I'm going to do. Come on, Donald. Donald, you can go here. I think I'm going to put the little shark on with him. It's a nice shine going on with my chocolates. Just that's just soft enough that I can just nestle that in. It should stay. But yeah, there we go. Um, little sun hat. Maybe the shorts and the hat are going to be discarded on the same bit of beach. No, I think that that king girl needs to live on this one here. So there we go. What do you reckon? I think we could. Um, Mr. Crab, my friend. There we go. These are very sweet. Okay. And then, I like the little marble effect we've got going on with these shells. Um, shells about. Um, that's quite sweet. Um, yeah. There we go. What do you reckon? We have some beach themed cupcakes. Um, I am Holly and my channel, as I said, is Natural Mama. And I hope to hear from you soon. Tell me stuff, share. If you've created similar things or done summer cupcakes, then comment below and we'll all have a look at them and um, we'd love to see what you've been making as well. Thank you. <laughs>